Hello, everybody. Now let's teach how to refurbish Seagate hard drives. Now let's see how to refurbish multiple Seagate hard drives at the same time. Users can see it's one DFL PCIe firmware repair tool. It can connect four hard drives at the same time. Here is two SATA, SATA 0, SATA 1, and this is SATA 2, and this is IDE. We can use one IDE to SATA converter to connect one more SATA hard drive. That means we can connect four SATA hard drives to refurbish. Many users are asking that how to refurbish more than four hard drives at the same time. So at this time, we need one offline power stream. We can offer power from the desktop PC to this stream. And here are four switches. We can control the hard drive power by this switch. So when they collect the hard drives to refurbish, we need to use this offline hard drive power cable. Now I have collected one Seagate desktop hard drive by this offline power stream. And I use the SATA zero data cable and also the COM cable because COM cable is a must for Seagate hard drive refurbishing. Now let's go to the software. Here is the control panel of the DFL PCIe firmware repair equipment. I have connected to the SATA zero, so I click the Seagate firmware repair software. Now we enter the software. At this time, we need to come here to power on power on the hard drive. Now we can fill the hard drive and see it is spinning. Okay, so it's power on. Now we can open the COM port, enter the program. This is one Seagate F3 hard drive. Obtain details. So this hard drive has bad sectors. How we refurbish them offline? Now I go to advanced menu. Here is the advanced menu. Here's one function, customize offline commands. We can use this so users can select different options depending on the hard drive health information. So we can double click this option offline hard drive repair. If the hard drive has just a simple bad sectors, some red green blocks, we can select this one too. So users can find different option has different commands compilation. So for example, we use this one, clear, we use one only. Then we can click execute. So after we click execute, we can find within this terminal, com terminal, the program starts to repair this hard drive. At this time, for Seagate, it's different from Western Digital. We must give power to Seagate when the offline repair running. Now we can see how to keep it running. We can remove the hard drive COM cable because we need to refurbish another drive. We can remove the hard drive data cable. 
Now it is keep running. It is keep running. We can connect another drive. Connect another drive. And use another power cable. Then we can connect the com cable. And the data cable, so by this way, by the same method, we can collect many hard drives to this offline power strip. Users can have multiple power strip. One more power strip can collect four more hard drives. If users have more power strip. Then users can connect many Seagate hard drives at the same time. Thank you for watching this video.